Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. We had Potato Mac and Titans in the Just Starting Soon screen. I welcome in Luigi as well. I just saw you redeemed. Um, we're doing Eastward today. I know Friday is a not normal day, but since stream is going to be sporadic next week, um, as y'all know, I'm moving during Thanksgiving weekend, so I think we're doing an extra day today, Friday, because we're doing less days next week's holiday because I need to get my hours up for this month. Yeah, any Oilers? <laughs> we lost two subs and we gained two yesterday, so it's back to 44. That's fine, though. Um, plan for today. Str Wait, I didn't post on Twitter that I'm left, guys. Um, exclamation Twitter. Follow my Twitter. Hey, yo! Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac. I appreciate that. Thank you. Did we get some wax in chat? Thank you, Mac. I went to Lambie. Cool. Wait, no stream elements doesn't have a sub. Fuck! Oh, no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wait, I have to do it on my other account. Fuck! Hold. I need to gift stream elements a sub. Hold. But thank you, Mac. Thank you, Mac. Damn. Let's see. Why? Because see how in the text alert or in chat it says peace I too heart, but it doesn't have the emote? Because stream elements doesn't get a free gifted sub in your chat because it's considered a bot. It sucks. So if you want it to use your emote, you have to gift it a sub. Okay, hold. We're gifting elements a sub. I usually gift to like three months worth of subs, but I can only afford one. Oh my god, it's Deacon! No way! No way! Holy! Finally able to catch a stream? We've missed you, man. We've, we've, we've missed you. Okay, there we go. Stream elements is now a sub. Welcome in. Welcome back. We literally, we literally were just talking about chatters we've missed. And we were like, we miss Deacon so much. Guys, welcome back, hun. Um, heck no, it's using 7TV. No, I want my bot to use my emotes, because, you know, that brings clout. Wait, hold. If we get one more person subscribed, we'll get a hype train. You've been busy? Yeah, because school and stuff, right? Because I think you, had to, you said you had to take, like, public transit and shit, right? I mean, it's fine. I'm glad you're here today, man. Okay, so. Wait, I was supposed to post on Twitter. Okay, follow my Twitter, guys. Exclamation Twitter in chat. We gotta post that we're live. Using Prime, but it's not loading? Sag, reload your tab. So, we're doing all caps. Live right now. Stream ends. I was waiting for the post. Okay, it's post now. It's up. It's up. It's up. Okay. Um. Like I said. Let's fucking go. We got a primer. <gasps> no way. No way. Oh my god. Thank you for that resub with prime. Thank you, Deacon. Okay, chatters. We have artificially cough cough, but actually made a hype train. So, if you don't know what a hype train is, basically... If you subscribe, cheer, or prime sub, you get a chance to use exclusive Twitch emotes. Wowie. So, if anybody has pride, or not pride, Lamo, prime emotes in the chat, how about you put them in the chat so other people can see what emotes they can possibly get? Where, where actually, where am I? Oh, Twitch hype train emotes. I have literally, basically, every single hype train emote. It's pretty sick. Because, you know, I used to be rich, so I used to be able to, like, donate to channels all the time. But look at all the cool emotes I have. Wow, I'm anti-pride stuff. Twitch stuff, they're joking, they're joking. Basically, everyone in my chat is gauged. They're trolling. Okay, thank you guys for the hype train. Um, oh, also, if we're going to farm, I do have TTS enabled. So, if you cheer 100 bits or donate $5, you can say something funny on stream. 
Guys, I'm legitimately so happy to see Deacon in chat. I was li okay. I'm not obsessed, but we we're literally just talking about yesterday. Just saying. I mean, you comment on my TikToks all the time, so I know you're there. <laughs> no, don't even. Okay, let's play the game, guys. We've stalled long enough. Gentle matter. We have three minutes left on that hype train. If you want a chance to get exclusive emotes, subscribe or cheer bits. Easy clap. Okay, so yesterday we had just beat chapter seven. We're going to start chapter eight. So it's going to be the final chapter, the final fight. I've been so sad I've been missing it. It's okay. It's okay. You know, life happens. Okay, this is our last save. Ooh. Let's see how long this is going to take me to be. I say five hours. Five hours. Oh, we're going straight into a fight. Damn. You know what I also remember this morning? I was like, wait. Wait. The last city we were in got wiped, right? Because the the time warp is gone. Now I can't upgrade any of my fucking weapons. So I'm going into this dungeon, the final fight, with shitty ass weapons. It, it's gonna be a bad time. I mean, I have, I have full heals, but I don't have... Oh! Guess we're going. I don't ha Oh, Charon. I have... Because, like, I want to at least upgrade my gun, but it's too late now. Yeah, I agree. It's so sad whenever you beat a story game. Like, I know I usually... When I play games offline, I try and, like, speedrun. I try and, like, beat it as fast as I can. But I do get sad whenever stories end. Okay, I gotta kill these guys first. Yeah, I've never played Life is Strange, but I've seen like full playthroughs of it. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Wait, is it not saying it? No way. <laughs> but thank you, Mac. Did it play the sound? I didn't hear it. Okay, wait, hold. Why didn't it play the sound? Oh, no. No, fuck. Okay, maybe I need to refresh. Let's do Oh, you are right. You, I think that is it, Potato. You have to say it after the cheer. Wait, hold. Wait, where's tight? I need to... Wait, we're gonna pause real quick to verify, because I don't want to scam you guys with the TTS. Yeah, I think in order for the message to be said, it has to be the cheer before the text. You didn't do that yesterday? I'm trying to check that, Mac. Let's see. Dude, Mac, I'm checking your logs just to verify. Okay. Sorry, we're checking logs. I don't want to scam. Free 5k medallions for Mac. Nah, I can't give out bits. I wish I could. Okay. I'm almost at the part where Mac cheered yesterday. Okay. So I, I, I need to figure this out. What on earth is a sacrifice point redemption? 
Um, it's when we play Cult of the Lamb. Do I claim it and then I die? No, no. That's not it. Okay, sorry. I, I'm trying to figure out this puzzle. I want to make sure... Because I'm looking at your guys' chat logs from yesterday. So I'm looking at Titans, because Titans cheered. And then... Okay, so 1209. 1209. Dude, Mac was in chat all stream yesterday. You're crazy. <laughs> Guys, I'm not just staring at my screen, I'm solving a problem. 1209. Oh, you are right. You put the cheer at the end. I think because that message was too long. Because, like, I know I enabled a setting to where if the message is too many characters, it doesn't read it out. I think it's because... Um, here, I'm gonna test out if the alerts are working. I think it's because when you put clueless, because clueless is a very long, like, word, right? So when you put, like, the ten cluelesses, it was too long. Okay, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna do a test alert to make sure it works. Oh, it's not working. No way. Oh yeah, they're not working at all. Huh? Damn. Okay. We have 30 seconds left on the live train! <laughs> huh, that- why isn't it working? It's like, not working at all. This is why I don't like stream elements. It, it's so finicky. <laughs> Keep it going. Guys, thank you for that level one hype train. We got three subs and 100 bits. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. They say to scam. No, I'm not scamming. I'm not scamming. I'm trying to troubleshoot the issue right now. Okay. I was looking at it this week and it was so bad. What was bad? What was bad? <laughs> okay. I think it's an issue with stream elements. Okay, I'm gonna try log out. Re-log back in. Street, yeah, the stream element alerts are so ass. That's why I use stream labs. Maybe I have to convert TTS to Streamlabs. I mean, that's fine. Oh, no, but it's because I stream my donations linked with Stream Elements. Ah. I can love Twitch. <laughs> Do not fear a man that spams 1,000 memes. Instead, fear a man that spams a meme 1,000 times. Okay, that was working. You guys heard that, right? Okay, I'm doing one more test. Okay, it didn't read the second test, though. My. Okay. So, TTS should work now. Let's... Okay, I'm gonna update the overlay. 
Do not fear a man that spams 1000 memes, instead fear a man that spams a meme 1000 times. Hey, one more test. Guys, we're troubleshooting live on stream. One more test. It should show up on screen. Guys, I'm a pro streamer. Do not fear a man that spams 1000 memes, instead fear a man that spams a meme 1000 times. Okay, so you guys can hear it now, but you can't see it. And that's fine. That's fine. Well, I think it's an issue of Twitch connecting to Stream Elements, because, like, once I logged out and re-logged back into Stream Elements, it, the TTS works, but the image isn't showing. But the sound still works. Once again, I'm sorry, Mac, you got scammed. You like the new layout? But yeah, for some games, we go full screen, and some games, we do the regular... Or the old overlay. It just depends on the game. And if I'm gonna like frost post like TikTok and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a timed bomb here. Very nice. This level, it's a whole bunch of puzzles and then super difficult boss fights, so I feel like it's gonna take me a bit. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, that's an upper section, okay. Yeah, I do agree. This overlay is like a bit easier on the eyes, but a really nice comment I got about the old overlay that we still use occasionally is that it stands out when compared to like other streams. Okay, I'm gonna need a timed bomb here. I'm so smart. <clears throat> oh, he still shoots. Deacon actually showed up to stream for once. <laughs> there we go. Easy. First try. Boss by time, boss by time. Okay, we'll do a prediction. A three hour train? Dude, that's crazy. Okay, first prediction. We're gonna do predictions all day. Do you guys think I'll beat this first mini boss? First try. Dude, it's so loud.
thought I dodged. It even hit me. I'm gonna drink two. Oh, here okay, we're in the second phase. <laughs> Law, you're not like shut up. Shut up. <laughs> So like loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm switching to my gun. I could only like sneak in like one hit. over. <laughs> Why is he carrying a dining tray? His weapon is a frying pan. Because he cooks. And then he also fights. Wait, how many? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, I have 12. I can use one of these. There's huge beat saber drama. What happened? Or are you trying to drum for? can love my gun. First try? Yes, sir. <gasps> they made spyware? Uh-oh. 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 I bet all the people who use VR chat are freaking out, huh? Honestly, I think anybody who plays VR is automatically sus. Just saying. What's the secret? Three hundred salt. Very nice. Oh, okay, we cook. I think this is like a healing station. Maybe we can come back here. It's a good thing I went here first. People use VR chat of no shame in what they do. I kind of agree. There are some very interesting people. Ah! Yeah, I've never tried VR and I have no interest to. Because it's either I'm going to hate it or I'm going to love it and then never log off. There's no in-between. Because, like, I have a very addictive personality. So once I get into something, there's no stopping. But you gotta try it? Nah. One of my roommates might be getting a VR set. So maybe then I can try it, but that's why I vape, guys. Don't vape. Vaping and smoking is so bad. It's so bad. Just don't. I'm the kind of person that likes to try things once. Fuck! I'm a very sheltered person, so I'm just like, I just don't want to try anything. That's why I haven't smoked. I haven't drank. I'm as clean as they come.
I heckin' love gambling. It's so fun. And totally not life ruining. Anything with two hearts? Okay, I'll eat this, that way I have full. That way I can craft one more better thing. Wait, 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 go back, go back. Look, when I press... Sam isn't here. Oh. Gotta go? Okay. Thank you for hanging out. I'm glad to see you, Deacon. But we'll see you next time, huh? It was great seeing you guys again. Oh. Ah! Well, thank you for coming in, man. Fuck gambling! Wait, before I go? Is this where you confess your love? <laughs> oh no, what? I'm trolling. I was gonna get wallpaper to cherries? Nah, we do a monthly wallpaper now. Get fucked. <laughs> Life's over, no! No! I mean, once I move, we're not gonna be able to use this wallpaper anyway, because I can't attach things to the wall. So... I think the plan is, I'm gonna get like a wooden panel. So it's like a makeshift wall, and then I paint on it. Oh my god, you're moving? Huh? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I thought you meant like moving my body. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving next week. <laughs> Hopefully I can come back here and get more food. Oh, uh, where? Your mom? Your mom's house. Damn it! I fucked up! Wait, I'm back here! Oh, shit! Easy? I'm a bro? I'm dead. Fingerprint? No. I don't think I've ever had to take my fingerprints. Luckily. The music in this area sounds so nice. It's like jazzy. The only time I've had to, like, put my finger in a phone is with, like, a previous partner. They were like, you want to put your fingerprint in my phone? I was like, I guess. I was like, I don't care. I'm not going to use your phone. I'm not going to look through it either. You have to for the school library? What the fuck? That's weird. Are they really going to grill you for stealing a book? Do they detain you if you return a book late? Okay, this is where I have to go. One of the healing station? They have a tracker on the iPads? What the fuck? I mean, you're not from America, dude. All the parents would lose their minds. They would stop caring about queer books in school. And they'd be like, they're tracking our kids! Dude, that's crazy. All the middle-aged Karens would lose their minds. I'm a queer- Oh, wait! Pause my time! Okay, bye, Deacon! Okay, first try! Oh, it's this motherfucker again! No. 
Oh, come on! Okay, I just have to juke him to bait and get in one hit. Okay, that's two. Okay, I have to like hit them from behind. Not in front. Very good. Damn it! I'm getting reckless. Oh, second phase! I think here I'm gonna need the gun. Oh fuck! I got one hit. I wasted like 10 bullets. <laughs> oh, dude, I turned around and blasted him. First try, of course. Easy. My first time playing, that one took me like 30 minutes to beat. <laughs> it's because I didn't use the gun initially. I was like, I'm anti-gun. Oh my god, I saw the cutest thing this morning. In their hallway, the person put like icicle lights hanging from the ceiling and then they hung ornaments from it. It was the cutest thing. I want to do that when I decorate for Christmas. That's my favorite type of dumpling. Um, I like soup dumplings a lot. They're kind of scary to eat because you don't know if you're going to burn your tongue, but it's exciting. scared Welcome to the Cheron Museum. Weapons are not allowed within the exhibition complex. No, not my weapons. You have an enormously large amount of weapons on you. What's this? A pan? You can keep this. Do enjoy your stay. Do I not get my weapons back? Quite the strange place, wouldn't you agree? 
Some people enjoy collecting machines. Naturally, machines, too, will also collect people. Save your memories? Yeah, right, it does look like the Pokemon. Not gonna lie, I don't like the Pokemons that look like robots. I think they're uncreative. I like the ones that look like animals. Are we gonna get an exposition dump right now? <laughs> the egg of life. The ultimate invention. And the foundation of the human factories. This is the brain. The original prototype. Though made up of nothing but a single brain, its intellectual power far exceeds that of humans. Which is what grants us unlimited mental capacity. Damn, robot, how dare you speak to me that way? I'm a person through and through. They have quite the temper, but it's simple enough to get them to work. You only need a little stimulation. Our technology become or our technology becomes more advanced by the day. Before long we completed our first artificial human. Born from the egg of life and completely customizable. The original method of procreation will no longer be required. <gasps> Christians will love that. <laughs> to be replaced with a higher form of creation and a higher form of being. Having said that, the egg of life is still nothing but a product. To truly surpass the possibilities of humanity and to realize the glory of mankind, we are still missing one key element. Please continue to the next room. Are they going to say love? Is that mother? This is mother, the highest form of life. Humanity's final answer in possessing limitless possibilities. One small piece of mother can keep a human factory running for countless generations. Even if humanity were to be completely wiped out by the miasma, mother would still be able to restore a civilization. Mother, the egg of life and Charon, these are the three elements to restoring civilization. Charon sows death. Mother plants life. Humanity must continue the cycle of death and rebirth in order to reach its true potential. Wow. And no simping in chat. Only I'm allowed to simp, okay? <gasps> it's Sam. Can I go back? This TV is in the loading screen. You guys don't see it because I skipped past it. Jasper. <clears throat> I'm um, not quite sure that would work. Never fear. I know just what to do. Who's Bowman? I don't remember who that is. The journey before you requires not only strength, but wisdom. Okay, it's saying the same thing. Wait, fuck! One of them's real! I didn't see which one was fake, because the fake one has the shadow. Kentaro. As if no one saw that coming. Damn fool, must have gotten lost again. 
when yet we wandered lost along the path of life. Oh, they're both evil. They both have the shadow. Alba. But I still can't help but feel that we're missing that yes factor, that ultimate clincher. Sag, Alba. <gasps> he us. It's this one. This one's the real Sam. Oh, there's more and more trash gathering on the, around the TV. Hold, sorry, I'm texting my dad. Lee. This meal, it tastes like friendship. Dorcas. Had already a jumble, is it? But wait, there's more. Oh my god, Gamba! I can love gambling. Oh, I chose the wrong one. It's the same... Dialogue. Damn. Which one's the real Sam? Because if you look, one Sam has like an expression, and then the others don't. Yep, I got a rat. Dude, this room is so messy. It lit up that time. William, our goal is just ahead. I got debated again. Yep, damn it. Run, John, run! I can't go back. We're back here again. Well, the range on this new pad is bigger. I didn't notice it. It's like a hair bigger. Wait, almost at it?
Oh, dude, I almost got it. There we go! Let's fucking go. Oh wait, I can aim my shot. I forgot. Because if you hold and you tilt the directional stick... You can aim. I totally forgot. Ooh, free hearts! Very nice! These stinking slimes. They remind me of my old job. walking on air. Ooh. Oh, it's these guys. Very nice. Why is there just a random centipede? I hate that. No! Oh no. Oh no. I thought it'd be a fight. Care speed running? door Dude, what's this zombie guy that's new oh they don't take oh they come back though that's kind of not good Stop it! Oh, that's a dead end! Okay. Oh my god, it's gaining! I'm dodging like a pro. Oh no, I gotta go back.
Very smart to ignore the zombies. Yeah, I'm literally so smart. I'm in college. Because, like, when you do the swing animation, you're wasting time. There we go, easy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, I can't really dodge those guys. <gasps> it's Sam! Oh my god, this fucking bitch. Dude, what is she doing? Is she not on my side? Huh? Oh my god, it, dude, it's good. There's like fish inside. I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm alive? It's so good right there. Watch ads on Twitch because guys we are about an hour in the stream so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad break break by subscribing for $4.99, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. At the end, we're gonna keep on playing. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe, easy clap. Dude, the moment I shifted positions in my chair, I exercised this morning and I had to do a fuck ton of squats and I think I tweaked my, one of my glutes, let's say, because like anytime I move my left leg or like my ass, it hurts. So I have to do some like stretching later. Anyway, we'll mount. <laughs> Wait, how are we at 46 subs? Oh, because we got a gifted Anna Prime. It's like, how do we get to 46, huh? Anyway, my ass hurts. Because, like, I was sitting crisscross in my chair. And I went to, like, lift up my foot and it hurt. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. This sweater is really warm, though. If I had, like, five of these, I would wear it every day. Okay, let's try again. The rat door is a debate. Rat is not rat. I'm painfully full? <laughs> of what? <laughs> okay, at least I started here. Okay, rat is not rat. Oh, dude, that was so mean. That was such a mean debate. Oh, come on. This feels like, you know when you play with a, a cat and you put the toy right in front of them and every time they move, you keep them moving it further away? Oh, wait, fuck! Same? We're going wide angle shot. <gasps> I know what else that's like. 
<laughs> like what? <laughs> you don't want to watch TV? Then what about your favorite game, huh? You want to play Earthborn? Let me go! I'm not anyone's mother. Now let me go find John. You still don't understand, do you? These humans, they're not worth caring about. Allow me to cleanse this world, huh? Just like before. I'm not listening to you. I'm not like you. I'm Sam. And John and I are going to stop you guys. Alright then. Just stay here. Stay here for the rest of eternity. For not a soul will come to save you. <gasps> hey, come back. Let me go! <clears throat> Let me go. John? 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 <gasps> no way. <clears throat> John! You have to save me! She has me trapped in here, the other me! <clears throat> How delightful! Humans are such an absolute delight! What's that? You haven't seen enough? Then how about this? John's gonna put a stop to you because we're some kind of hotshot lab assistants. How was that, huh? Quite on the money, I'd say. Wait, I should do the, the neutral voice because it's obviously the anti Sam. <laughs> you humans, so weak, you couldn't even hope to get near me. You'd be nothing, nothing without her. Let's play a game then, shall we? Yes, I prepared a special something for you. I have full hearts, though. I think. I was here. Hi, Hacker. No! Ah! I got fucked. I hate gambling. I think I know what's coming up next. I think I know what's coming up next. You guys are not going to be ready. Damn it, I hate gambling. Wait, pause, make phone streamer. My dad's texting me. Pause. Pause, champ. Okay, we good? Because it's like, if you don't reply instantly, it's game over. Oh, I can't upgrade my weapons. God damn. <laughs> Not all reunions are a happy affair. But turn back now and there may not be an opportunity for a reunion at all. Save your memories.
Are you guys ready? I don't think you guys are ready for this. <gasps> it's Isabel and Alva. Cute, isn't she? Still just as cute as the first day I met her. She always envied you. She always envied you, you know? Traveling everywhere, going on your adventures. That was always her dream. But fate had different plans for her. She had no choice but to become New Dam City's guardian. Now, however, she's finally free. She and the train have already merged. And soon, the miasma will cleanse all of humanity. Her children will emerge from the factories once more. And they, they will carry out her dreams for her. As for me, I'll stay here, watching over her. Protecting her until the end of time. So you can already see. Why I can't allow you to take another step. I can fight. I hate it. <laughs> Dude, how am I supposed to block? I hate this fucking fight. There's no point in doing prediction. It's gonna take me a while to relearn it. Seems easy? No, it's not fucking easy. There's no way for me to block. Isn't it just timing? Well, I need to learn the timing, okay? Guys, shut up. No Bexy Gaming. Let's go again. Oh, I had it? Damn it. I almost had it. Easy. We go. I'm, I think I'm getting it. Fuck. Okay, I almost have the timing. I almost have it. I have to like stay close to her. Cause I think gaining distance isn't the way to go. Oh, see, look, I can't even hit her. Bullshit. It's like, done, done, done. Let's fucking go! One, two, three, four! God, fuck. It's like, done, 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 done. You've grown stronger. But my resolve is no less strong. 
Okay, got the timing now. Oh! What is this? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, come on. Come on. My path is so clear. So then why won't my sword... Ah, uh, come on then. This should prove the victor once and for all. Uh, let me do a quick little heal. <laughs> what? Okay, one. Two. Oh! Like, guys, hold, hold. I, I'm cracked. Okay, I'm cracked. Don't worry. Don't worry. Then, it's come to this. It's over. All of it. Alva. Is that you, Alva? What you've done for me? It's already too much. Alva. Those who have already died aren't supposed to live again. No, but you weren't supposed to die. And yet, it still happened. Even you know that those things, they aren't me. Put down your sword, my sweet knight. And leave the rest to them. But they... I could see myself! Isabel! Alva! I'm so sorry. That other me... No. She is me? And I've been doing all these horrible things. You're as sweet as always, Sam. Alva. There. Fully charged. Listen to me, Sam. This isn't your fault. After merging with Sharon, I could see it all too clearly. And I see it now, too. That dark, overpowering will is just ahead. She's trying to control you, Sam. And if she succeeds, if she's able to take control of your power, then all of humanity is doomed. I'm gonna stop her. Come on, John. But the price to do so. I won't lose, I won't.
At least we didn't like kill Isabel. That would have been morbid. Damn. John. Oh. No good then. The final battle lays ahead. John. Promise me no matter what you see, you'll know that isn't me. No matter what happens, you must stop them. You'll find a way. I know you can do it. Okay, I can't switch to Sam. It's just me. Final Johnny. Welcome, friends. You may not know me, but you surely know my many brothers. My name's Johnny, but everyone calls me the Final Johnny. You're right to be cautious. You're hardened adventurers, after all. I got my weapons back. Let's fucking go. But hey, trust me. I've got some top quality wares that'll no doubt come in handy. No way, we can upgrade our weapons, dude. I was bitching about that at the search stream, but look, we're good. We're saved. Okay. Let's upgrade my gun. Okay, I can't upgrade my gun anymore. Oh, I can carry more ammo. That's pretty good. Ooh, carry more items? Very nice. Dude, this is a lifesaver. Now we got max inventory. Okay, achievement unlocked monster pack. I have to tilt because I have I have a water bin blocking my TV. I'd rather just reset. Oh, not enough parts. What? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, huh? I can't buy anything else. Damn, I don't have enough parts. I didn't find enough secrets. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I only have 200 bucks. Holy. <laughs> I'm broke. Okay, I think that's all that I can really buy. Let's fill up our inventory. Let's top ourselves off. I was so close to the mega jackpot. I was like this close. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. 
Yeah, I agree. Sushi platter is pretty solid. <laughs> I'm getting so close. I'm so close. Anyway, because I think sushi platter has like the best multipliers. But I don't care. I just care about hearts. Because the multipliers don't last long anyway. Kinda, I don't, I literally don't see any effect. I feel like, because there's like defense multipliers. But I don't think they do anything. Like, maybe they mitigate some damage, but I literally can't tell. Oh, yeah! I love gambling. Holy ten? Wait, what was it to make the sushi platter? I forgot. Ah, don't matter. Bad spin anyway. I think I'm gonna redeem the steamed fish now the way I can get the golden hearts and cook one more thing that is full should save before the game crashes can I manually save I don't think I can yeah you can't manually save because like you guys can't see it but like right here where my face can cover so there's like an auto save icon and then it saves the major checkpoints. Because, no spoilers, but there's no save point past the Isabel point. The Isabel fight. Because when I loaded up my save from last year, when I, um, to do audio checks to like, and I opened my last save, it saved at the Isabel fight. Yeah, the fridge is a save point, but let's say I beat the game and I were to go back, it would start me at the Isabel fight, not this fridge. But I don't know if I'd spawn at this fridge if I die. But I'm not going to die, of course. I'm going to leave. Ooh, cold noodles. I don't like cold noodles, honestly. No way, I wasn't even trying. See, gambling is that easy. Holy. Must you really go this time? I'll miss you. In the coming days, I'll be like a particle, a wave, traveling across the universe. The universe called John. Saving memories. I went to a casino recently, it was so overwhelming. Like, I can imagine. They're designed to like keep you reeled in and grab your attention. I'll probably try go to a casino at some point, but not now. Use Solomon's Key of Courage. Use Solomon's Key of Wisdom. Use Solomon's Key of Strength.
Dude, I'm getting actual goosebumps. I'm so excited for this fight. What happened if we didn't have all the keys? Oh, I can switch to Sam now. Teleporting. Oh, so close. Damn. Oh, fuck. It's too powerful. Okay, can't attack the birds. Yeah, I love the aesthetics of the final parts of this game. It's like the kind of like synth wave aesthetic almost. So close. Oh my god, my fucking god. There we go. If I can teleport here. Oh, close. Shortcut. Oh, here we go. Oh, that cut was wild <laughs> that we fell.
I'm try riding. I want. I want to try and beat it first drive. I think I can do it. What I like about this fight is that the mechanic is fairly simple. You just have to time when you teleport with Sam properly. Okay. Oh! Oh, I thought I got it. Damn. I wanted to sneak and hit. I take a hit. This fight is crazy though, I love it. Getting faster. Come on. There we go. Wait, no one. Welcome in. We're doing well today. Oh, I'm behind. Ah! Okay, that was bad. I had a bad spawn spot. Am I supposed to, like, hit them? Okay, that literally does nothing. Oh, I can hurt them. Okay. I forgot. Okay, so when I'm up close, I should be mailing. Take a lot of needless hits, but it's fine. Finally got you just a little further. 
John! <gasps> we have become one. Oh, I was just about to heal too. Very nice. I timed that one perfectly. Oh, come on. Not fair. Oh, what? Oh, bro, come on. Fight, I 
Wait, I can't use any other weapon. I have to use his hand. here for a bit. Getting it easy, I know. If only, if only, if only I could dodge on this little 3x3 three three hexagonal platform. Unlocked. A new beginning. Wait, no way, it's over. I was gonna say, I'm gonna try and take the hits at the end. That way I can charge my attack sooner. That's what I did that time. <gasps> I'm drowning! <laughs> oh, dude. I've lost then. To think you would have gone, grown this much. Oh, please! Enough games already. I'm not gonna let you trick me again. <laughs> no. 
I suppose that won't work anymore. Fine then. I'll show you. I'll show you everything. I forgot to tell you, you see. Just what it's that's happening while you've been putting around on that train. The miasma has already been released. You remember this place, don't you? Deep underground where you once lived? I understand the people here. You may think of them as bad people, but no. They don't even deserve that moniker. They're much worse. See? No one cares that you've left. It's almost as if you've never existed. Now they're nothing but unfamiliar faces, closing their eyes and pretending that disaster isn't about to swallow them. Dude, they're talking so fucking fast. And here, this is a city you desperately sought to save. Ugly, isn't it? Like a leech desperately clinging to the beach, you risked your own lives, lost an important friend. Not for what? You've accomplished nothing. This is where it all began. All the world's greatest minds were here. But what have they done to accomplish? Reason and wisdom mean nothing in the face of absolute power. And now the city is nothing but absolute ruins. Poor, pitiful humans. It's too late for them. Too late for them to even realize their own fate before they're wiped from this world. No! This isn't over yet! Ah! Stop! Do you have any idea what you're doing? At this rate, you'll cease to exist too! favorite shot in the whole game right here. It's beautiful. This has been my desktop background for a whole year. I love it. It's so pretty. She's gone. I can't with you guys, I can't. This is a very sentimental moment and you guys are ruining it. You don't even want to say goodbye? I don't need to. He knows. He knows that I'm not really leaving. Is that so? His face seems to believe them. One day, one day we'll meet again.
and thus hope had melted the ice of time courage had shattered the fetters of fate the only thing that couldn't escape this curse from the days of old was goodbye The Grim Reaper's boat left humanity behind, and the princess and her knight turned their backs on what had passed. As the thick void finally receded, mankind emerged from its gloomy refuge. But the broken waves carved out on a lonely island, and as the tide turned to rain, wind, storm, only to vanish finally without a trace, it became time to set forth once again. It would be a journey never before taken towards the light beyond the far off horizon. A light brighter than any star and warmer even than the sun. Hey, Harley, welcome in. Are those red boots? Eastbound train. Eastbound train. Ah, there. At three. Three. Three what? I can't read this. It's faded beyond recognition. Doesn't anyone take care of this place? So hot. If only I brought my swimsuit. someone there. Think, good thing I didn't go swimming. <laughs> Are you waiting for the train? My name's Sam. I'm taking the eastbound train. You wouldn't happen to know when the next train is coming. Hello? Can you hear me? What a strange individual. Are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, this is truly unfortunate. Why hasn't the train arrived yet? It's so hot. I love how bright it is. Looks like the city is underwater now, though.
there's the OP music. Eastward. Finally. We have finally beaten Eastward. I know it's really loud! <laughs> I mean, you are right. It's kind of like a short chapter, but still. That was a lot in that last chapter. It was easier than I remember it being. Maybe I've just gotten better at games the past year? Yeah, the ending scenes look like concept art, or like illustrations, it's really pretty. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing with like these like narrative pixel games. Um, it's a lot of subtle storytelling, they gotta kinda get an idea out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna lower it a little bit. What'd you guys think? I had a lot of fun. I think Eastward is still like my favorite story driven game. Like even after you're playing it, I love it so much more. It's calmed down now. It was cool. Very nice. What would you guys rate it out of 10? I know the combat could have been better, but I still beat the final fight. First try. So you know I told you guys when I played this initially last year for the first time? Wait, hold. Hold. I thought the city got consumed. Wait, Kianas. Dad! The repairs are finished then. Yeah, I feel much better. I'm so glad. If all goes well, we'll be able to depart tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, wait, shit, it's at the end. Sorry, you guys couldn't see it. It said the end in the bottom. Damn. I think that's the end, guys. Well, it looked like Daniel's now a human now, right? Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Yeah, I agree. The story is kind of weird and, like, obscure, right? Well, here's the OP again. Let's get the OP. Very nice. Anyway, as I was saying, when I played this initially for the first time, um... My game crashed right after I beat the final fight to the scene where John like steps into the ocean. Um, that's where it crashed, so I had to like replay the whole final boss and beat Isabel again. I think if I played it myself, I could get a better grasp. Yeah, I think it's like also easier for me because this is my second time seeing and absorbing the story. But I like I said, um, vods are up for all the streams, so if you need to catch up on lore, you can watch the vods easy. I mean, I think the story is obviously about, hmm, what you call it? It's like, to me, like eugenics to an extent, and also like, rebirth as well, because you know the scene at the end where Sam and John are in the water, because like, um, water, kind of like Christianity, where you get like baptized, it's like that. Did it not crash day? Yeah, it didn't crash day, finally. Somehow. 
Um, so look. If I were to load a save, I don't think there's any post game. Yeah, because the last manual save was at the fridge, right? And then the last auto save. I'm not going to play. I just want to see where it saved last. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, at the end? Okay, well... My initial save was dumb. <laughs> Why did it save so far back then? I guess the autosave function was ass when it, the first time I played. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's that finishes our Eastward playthrough on stream. Thank you guys for watching. We finally finished... Wait, I want to see how many hours. What exactly was Sam taking over? I think it's like one of those, like, she got controlled by, like, an altered consciousness. Because, like, I think the theory is she was artificially made. And then, um, like, one of, I think, because, like, obviously they're all clones of Sam, right? Like, how we saw at the end in the factory, like, all the clones of Alva. So I think Sam was just a clone that escaped. I thought the ending would be longer. Well, that's because I beat it fairly quickly. I didn't die too many times. Okay, so it says there's 30 play hours in Eastward. And most people say it takes like 25 hours. So that's not too bad. Okay, so guys. What should we do? Oh, wait, you know what I do have to do? We are two hours in the stream, so I do need to run some ads, but you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. For to 10, shut up. I, I have no material to transition off of. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for the Prime. Anyway, I just uploaded a new TikTok as well, so go like it, go leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. Get some water, get a snack, we'll see some of you guys in a few. What should we do? Hmm. Let's see. We're two hours into stream. Sorry, I'm checking. Hmm. What if I'm a clone that escaped? Um, that would explain why you're kind of weird, honestly. Hmm. Let's let's switch gears to just chatting. I kind of want to have some fun. Do you guys want to do some reacts? And do some meme time? Cause I don't know if I want to play another game right now because I'm honestly kind of tuckered out I am mo you want to do a sketch card hmm hmm maybe I'd have to cut more though I don't have any more blinks hmm I okay I'll be honest I thought the final chapter would be longer not gonna lie <laughs> I thought it'd be at least, like, remember the start of the stream, I said five hours. It'll be five hours. No shot. Hmm, what should we do? What should we do? <laughs> I mean, today was a bonus stream anyway. Like, it doesn't need to be a full-length stream. Because, hmm. like, what was I going to do after stream today? I was going to pack and then edit. It's why he didn't do it as a bonus yesterday. I mean, we definitely could have finished the game yesterday. I could have gone for two more hours. Meme sounded good. Yeah, I saw you said yes to that potato. Maybe? Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to play Cult of the Lamb. I kind of want to. But I don't, if I were to play Cult of the Lamb, I'd play for at least three hours. And I don't have three hours today. Hmm. I think we'll do some reacts and then we'll do calligraphy. We'll do a short stream today. But thinking about next week's schedule, I have appointments on Monday. And then I have, like, a Google meeting with school on Monday morning, too. So I think Monday we'll do painting. And then Tuesday, Mario Kart, Wednesday, Fall Guys. I think that's what we'll do for next week. So, yeah. 
We'll do a little bit of reacts today. On Zoom to use my setup? Yeah, you can connect your DSLR to Zoom and Google Teams and stuff. It's cool. <laughs> Don't have three hours yet. The three extra hours would have been the hours for research. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Don't say I'm scamming. I'm not scamming. Okay, let's change our category. We're going to go into just chatting. Do we, okay, do we want to watch, like, normal YouTube? I kind of want... Because there's been some videos that I want to watch. Let's see. Because I know we usually do, like, You Laugh, You Lose, but... Hmm. I'm just looking at my subscription speeds. Uh, like, a lot of my YouTube is... Just, like, stream highlights. So I don't have, like, a lot of videos. You know what a channel that I really like is? I really like I Did a Thing. I like them a lot. There's been a few videos that I want to, like, rewatch. Because, like, the jokes are kind of not edgy-edgy. Does anybody know I Did a Thing? Hmm... I think so. Yeah, let's let's do a little bit of YouTube time. Let's do some YouTube time. YouTube time. We can watch some videos. Just chatting. YouTube time. You don't know? Well, it's a really good channel. If anybody knows um, William Osmond or Michael Reeves, it's kind of in that similar vein, but, you know, Aussie. Australian. That you're packing on next week? Yeah, I mean, like, we're going to be packling Parshing, but we won't be able to transport anything until after Thanksgiving. Sag. Who? Guys, guys. Okay, I'm trying to find a good one. Hmm. Okay, I'll actually pull up the YouTube. Now you guys can say... Why don't you guys walk the boxes? <laughs> That'd be fucking stupid. <laughs> so bad. It's so bad. Okay, these two gum videos are actually interesting because they're definitely more like social commentary. But uh, I'm not, I want a, like a fun video. As you can see, I, oh wait, you can't really see. I've watched most of these already. So really good. Okay, this one's fun. Hey, guys. This one's fun. This is my pool. This one's fun. And this is a frog. It's not meant to look like this. It's dead. Uh. And this is an eastern water skink known for their love of water. Also dead. And no, I'm not murdering them. They just keep drowning themselves, and I have no idea why. So today, I'm going to make a little robot lifeguard to save them. He's cute. Yeah, he's cute. Okay, first, I need to figure out why they keep drowning. And I think it's because like when the he, pool okay. has these slippery So, if anybody ones. watched um, iDub's creator class, he was one of the fighters. Dude, he looked very nice. His voice is nice. Yeah, he's, he looks right, very so nice. The striped marsh frogs and water skinks jump in. And he looks very nice. Out. They can't grip their slippery anyway. fingers on the edge, so they get tired and drown. Unlike this guy, the Perrin's tree frog, that I'll I like his videos because they're more creative. Leisure laps in my pool. And they never seem to get stuck as they have these And there's usually like some type of message behind feet. it. But I reckon it's still good to get them out quickly as the chlorine can't be good for their skin. Oh, dude, come on. Oi, mate, I'm trying to save you. I'm to stop. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. This is why I never want to pull. You should do it. So the most practical solution would obviously You're self be for the frogs and lizards to use today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning okay, we're skipping with the sponsor. Or I could go with the second most obvious option and make the other frogs and lizards little suction cup shoes so they can also climb up the slippery tiles. Oh my but god. I didn't want to cooperate. <sighs> Then there's my third option, and the simplest, to just make a ramp ladder thing that floats on the water so they can climb out. But there's a problem with this. These pool pavers are hot. Really hot. So hot that I was able to cook a kangaroo steak on them. But unlike Julienne over there, 
The last thing I want is for a wet, tired frog to crawl out onto these hot tiles and get roasted. And then there's the feral cats in my yard, which I have seen waiting in these bushes for food. And there is nothing they love more than a fried frog. But I think I can get past both of these problems by making a flipping device that shoots the frogs or lizard out of my pool into the safety of these bushes. And I reckon an easy place to start is with something that usually harms animals. <laughs> If I just cut these things up right. here and put them here, <laughs> then bend a metal flap and put it here, I, guess I now have a reverse <laughs> mousetrap. And instead of smushing the animals when triggered, it now flings them away. So I tested it on this frog. It's gonna die. Whee! And it works pretty well but I wasn't sure if real animals would actually trigger it. So I left it out at night with some food on top to see what would happen. I have tuna in my eyes. And at night, this hungry guy showed up. And I'm not sure if it was the camera's frame rate or the strength of the catapult, but the cat seemed to disappear. So it's definitely strong enough for the frogs. But I'm beginning to realize a problem. This device only works once and then I have to reload it. So unless I have hundreds True. of these floating in the pool, which would make swimming quite difficult, it's not really going to work. And also, if the frog climbs into this bit and not on top, they'll just get squished. So I need to come up with something that auto loads and is safer. And I think I've got a good option right here. My pool cleaner's exhaust, which is extremely strong. So all I need to do is create a little switch thing that turns on the water when the frogs or lizards are in a certain spot, squirting them out of my pool. Which means I need to figure out how to detect a frog. But lucky for me, they are always wet. Hey yo! So, I think I can use this moisture <laughs> sensor and this box of random plumbing I found on the side of the road. <coughs> That's definitely poo. And after fiddling around with the pipes, glue, and heat gun, I created this, which plugs into the high pressure outlet directing the water up to this ball valve. Then once a frog climbs on top of this grippy pyramid, it triggers the sensor, turning on the valve, making the water shoot out from underneath I the I love watching this type of videos because I space. just feel smart watching them. this sensor them. is controlled by this <laughs> Arduino, which is inside this container. Like I don't like engineering dry. stuff but at all, it's way too complex. But just to make sure it's 100% waterproof, I also used your mum's nail polish to paint all the electronics, which will stop it short circuiting. Hey yo, your mom. I'll see you tonight, sexy. See ya, honey. Okay, let's go <laughs> test it out. Hey so yo. I attached it to the wall, which was way harder than it should have been, as I kind of forgot that the attachment was underwater, meaning it was really hard to screw on. And then the box I made doesn't seem to be waterproof. So then I tested it first with my wet finger, which successfully triggered and turned the ball valve. Now for a test with the soggy lizard and the water turned on. But how would it like land on there? And it does trigger the sensor, but besides that is horrible. It doesn't want to stay upright and dunks the electronics in the water and then only manages to shoot the lizard a foot in the air and not in the direction I want which is very disappointing. But at least I finally have a poolside bidet like I've always wanted. Nice. Okay, new plan. I ditch the water propulsion idea and make a super strong automatic reloading catapult that floats on the surface of the pool and flings 10 frogs a second over the neighbor's fence. So I just banged a bunch of wood together, stole some code, borrowed a family spoon, attached some servos, some pool noodles, and finally attached some elastic. And now I've got this, a moisture sensing automatic catapult, which floats on the surface of the water using these pool noodles, which I also cling wrapped to make extra slippery, meaning the only place the frogs can climb up is the arm. And when they do, it triggers the sensor, which stretches the elastic and then fires and then automatically reloads into position for another frog or lizard to climb on top of. 
Looks like he's just trying to make like a mini amusement park for the frogs. I tried powering it using an exercise band, which worked, but was not very powerful. So then I tried some hand spear rubber, and my little servo motor wasn't strong enough to tension it. But then I realized I could help it out by stacking elastic bands on the other side. And now... Test with support elastic. Come on. Yes! Come on. Beautiful. That was so much better. It works well and is the perfect distance, but I still want to make it stronger. So I put on another spear rubber and more elastic bands and... I wonder if Rox will like keep coming back to that. it. So I went back to one spear rubber and took I don't it down know if to they'd my like being airborne though. Test. <laughs> but see, like, what are the odds of like the animal landing on it? You probably need like five of them. See, it's sad because they get stuck. <gasps> no way. <laughs> so close. Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. That was if you good. like that, subscribe and check out my other videos. I love his shit so much. It's so good. Do you guys want to watch another one or something else? Let's see how messed up my recommend it is. <laughs> what is this one? <laughs> Should play more. <laughs> I wanted to see a frog go on the catapult. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Yeah, see, like, a lot of my recommended is just, like... <laughs> okay, this one's a banger. This one's a banger. <laughs> okay, okay. This one is, like... Commentary, but this one's good. So this is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, maybe we should have watched this one. <laughs> I for... They do some jokes. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, wait, hold, hold, oh, let's skip, let's skip the intro, let's skip the intro. Okay, stop, stop, I'm not gonna, I, they do a joke, they do a joke. Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. Okay, I think I think we're fine. Okay, 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 we're fine. <laughs> I thought they, I thought I forgot what the oh, I just had to watch the first minute. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, guys. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so for context, they have like a collab channel. They're another creator. They do like a lot of social commentary stuff. So the premise for this video is they go to Disney. The, the title is Disney Made Is Gay, okay? Okay, it's fine. We're good. We're fine. You know what we're bothers fine. me? The I like this video a lot, though. All our fans seem to think that we're gay. Now, I, I thought we made it pretty obvious in all our previous videos. We're just two average, straight friends. 
but look, we, we don't want to disappoint all our fans. You've been watching us all this time. Maybe you know us better than we do. So we're going to try our best to become homosexuals just for you. And we know exactly where we'd have to go to make that happen. Why else would you want to have two dudes or two women kissing in a Disney film? It's about making your kids gay. Gay agenda <laughs> and queerness and uh, putting it in movies and cartoons. They're being fed these messages over and over. In every episode now, they're going to have Mickey and Pluto <laughs> going at it. So this is a true wake-up call to parents that they can't Dude, trust conservatives are crazy. You heard it. Disney is making kids gay. So if we wanted to be gay, we'd have to catch the first plane to America and go to Disneyland, the gayest place on earth. And luckily, we had the help of two <laughs> Americans, both of whom were married to women, which inevitably makes a lot of straight men start having second thoughts about their heterosexuality. Wait, but these things are enormous. If these aren't made to be gay, they're just giant cocks. Yeah. <laughs> I can't sit on it. Yeah. Disneyland is making us gay. That's not even Disneyland. That's oh, just, really? That's just the introduction. Holy oh, Roxanne. Orlando's turning people gay. Kevin's so distracted by the giant cock, he can't even drive. He's so horny, he can't drive. So we all arrived at Disney and we were ready to start our new lives as gay men. But it was kind of hard to get in. The entrance was blocked by like hundreds of protesters. We assumed people would be upset because we came at a very delicate time. You know, every flag was I feel like passed. people this who protest this shit the just have way too much free time. Deaths from COVID. But it turns out that wasn't what they were angry about. They should like get a hobby. That's not protesting. People's lives. So what lives. seems to be happening is that Disney has made these people's kids gay and, and they're not happy about it. And they all came to Disney World to cast some kind of anti-gay spell on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it's funny because like all this shit is real. It's fucking real. God, the energy was contagious. I, I just couldn't help but join in. They, they worked us up so well. I honestly hated Mickey for a minute there. Just the well, babies? Not all Mickeys. I mean, there was a, there was a oh, heterosexual okay. MAGA Mickey. Okay. Who... Like, it's such a hassle taking, like, babies and toddlers out on the belt. Like, you get your babies ready to go to the anti-Disney, anti-gay protest. That, to me, is like, oh, my God. It was You're crazy. on our side. <laughs> We were about to have some good old-fashioned fun and apparently get some sweet discounts too. We're gonna do a Jesus march down the street in front of the macaroni grill. Where we're gonna have a worship throwdown. Woo! And the macaroni grill uh, manager already came out and, and welcomed us and gave us $50 coupons. Ain't no oh. way. Macaroni grill. Now, I've never done a Jesus march before, but it turns out it's actually pretty easy to do. You, you just gotta remember one word. Gotta go. Jesus. Okay, bye, potato. Jesus! Jesus! To the untrained eye, this looks a bit silly, maybe even delusional, but I quickly became convinced of the magical power of the Jesus March. You see, last year during the BLM protest, the governor of Florida made a law that made it legal to run protesters over if they obstruct traffic. But these people were... Okay. You guys heard about that legislation, right? This right here. Florida anti-riding law will make it much easier to run over protesters with cars. Have you guys, like, heard this legislation? It's insane. So, like, they were saying if protesters are walking through the street or if they're doing, like, a sit-in on a road, somebody can legally run you over and they would not get charged with manslaughter. It's psychotic. If you live in Florida, get the fuck out, dude to run protesters over if they obstruct traffic. But these people were clearly protected by God. Like, no car could stop them. <laughs> and we thought that Jesus Walk was a perfect time to start talking to people. What do you think of the event so far? Uh, I think it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm glad I drove from Myrtle Beach. From, I live oh, in you know what's another thing I just realized? Like, during, like, the BLM, or, like, during, like, a lot of leftist protests, like, a lot of people cover their face. Like, all these people, they're proud. They're proud to be hateful. Outside of Atlanta, and I was at the Great Awakening in Myrtle Beach when he spoke, and I was like, I gotta be there. So I have slept in my car for three, four nights, and came here, because this is amazing. How many miles is that? Roar! I have no clue. <laughs> I'll be honest, I felt a bit out of my depth here. Things were getting really weird, but that was nothing. As soon as we got to the Macaroni Grill car park, things got even weirder. A man comes out with some kind of medieval horn and everyone goes wild. 
People were speaking in tongues, gyrating on the ground. This shit was sure to scare even the most determined homosexual. Honestly, I was struggling to fit in here, but luckily the leaders tell you exactly what words to shout. Desperate. Somebody say desperate. Desperate. Go get salt. Apparently not everyone at the protest was shouting correctly, and the leaders could tell, you know. It, it turns out we had something called a Jezebel among us. We're fighting against Jezebel, and she's already been destroyed, and she could be destroyed again. Wake up, Jake! Wake up! Disney is approximately one kilometer away from this macaroni grill is car Is this a park, cult? But yeah. somehow Jezebel's satanic energy got in here, and then the man on the stage spotted it inside okay, the, the mind of Jezebel? one of the women in the audience. Oh, there's a lady here. Come on, come on, come on. So An imposter? crowd around and put their arms on her head to exercise the spirit of Jezebel. We're destroying Jezebel in the body the of Christ right now. I Dude, religion is crazy. I had never seen an exorcism before. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was confronting, but I did Dude, that get flag excited looks witnessing book. Christian magic for the first time. What are we doing here In today? a good way. Uh, we're just basically here to tell Disney we're just tired. I mean, just tired of them trying to indoctrinate our children. They want to brainwash them early enough that they... It's, it's Says you guys. The, the gay religion. They have a not-so-secret gay agenda to uh, propose and indoctrinate on little children. What's their, what's their indoctrination look like? How do we spot it? It's just, I mean, it, it's just like little subliminal things that they'll put into their movies. When you so, um, look at the movies, really there's just the subtle magic, things about magic. Like what? The most recent one that I've seen, um, Enchanto, I think yeah. that's what it's called. It's got a lot of- Enchanto. Sorcery. Yeah. And then when you think that Walt Disney was a warlock. Yeah. They're talking about magic, not gay shit. I, I, The, the people who are, like, the far right that, like, believe the culture war shit are just actually brain dead. They're just actually fucking stupid. Like, I fucking hate it. I hate when people use their religion or upbringing to, like, weaponize or villainize people. Like, it it's so unfortunate. I think these people got brainwashed. That's why they're so easy to control. The thing about the Republican Party is that a majority of the members are working class, uneducated individuals. And typically when people are uneducated, they're more susceptible to conspiracy and skepticism and mistrust in the government. So it makes sense that they gravitate towards those type of ideals, extremism. So if you see people in your life that are heading this way, try to get them away from it, okay? It's like, like, all they're talking about is magic. That's, that's crazy. It's yeah. like, really? All the Disney movies really have some yeah, sort yeah. of sorcery, things of that sort in there. Yeah. That is very strange. I mean, it they goes asked about gay, well. not it's magic. Like magic, warlocks. You, you got a shirt that says demon killer. What's, yeah. the, what's the best way to kill a demon? Oh, uh, prayer. Jesus Christ, going in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, 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 it's by the spirit of God. It's not through our strength. It's about the spirit of God. It's, it's the spirit of God that's, that kills the demons. It's the spirit of God. So Disney was using sorcery to make their kids gay. I mean, it, it seemed <laughs> believable enough, but I wanted to know why. Why are they doing it? Like, what do they want from the kids? So, I mean, I think I think there's just a, a greater agenda to uh, world control, mind control, separating the child from the parent. Uh, George Orwell talked about that. Why are they doing this? You know, to destroy our country, destroy country. Yeah. to destroy America. Even the public school system here is, is getting vile. What, what are the teachers doing in the schools here? Oh, wow. Well, basically what Disney's doing, they're, they're basically... <laughs> exactly, Mac. And I have yeah. a 13-year-old daughter that I actually pulled her out of public school. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and she's been homeschooled for three years now. Dude, Congrats her kid is probably so mentally school. ill. Um, I mean, it's just, it's not right. I mean, like being homeschooled? Kids, let them be kids. Yeah. These people are so committed to letting kids be kids that every single parent we spoke to has yanked their kids away from all the other kids and schooled them at home. Now, exactly. I'm obviously not a child, but I'm pretty sure all the homeschool kids who were brought to this event by their parents were pretty grateful to be in the macaroni grill car park listening to this adult tell them what to think, you know, instead of being indoctrinated at Disneyland. And it starts with corporations and- I think a lot of people's beliefs concerning policy and religion especially are rooted in hypocrisy but if you are unable to look at the bigger picture 
and not respect other people's beliefs or livelihoods, then you need to do some self-reflection. These kids are going to have no social skills and going to be fucked. Yep. Yep. And, like, to me, it's concerning when any child is homeschooled or, like, taken out of public school and then homeschooled. Because the issue with homeschooling is not necessarily all parents are fit to be educators. And the, if you homeschool your kids, they aren't going to have the best social skills. They're not going to learn how to interact with other people. And when you when you go to school, you hear so many different stories. You interact with so many different kids. Like, you don't become as sheltered. That's why, like... Even if you are rich, you're rich. I think your kids should still go to public school. That way you gain the perspective of what the normal experience is for most American kids. Doctor Where's the macaroni? They gotta make a lot of macaroni for all these people, okay? It's gonna take a bit. <laughs> she's holding, she's plugging her ears. Uh, what is wrong with these people? Well, it's all well and good for the homeschooled kids, but what about the kids who are already gay? What happens to them? <laughs> you know, they're kids, they've watched Disney, they've gone to public schools, they've, you know, they're now, they're, 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 they're gay. Like, what, think, what do they uh, do? We just need a prayer. God's gonna come down and deal with these people. Yeah, people pray the gay away, God easy. dealing with the homosexuals, but it's hard to imagine what they meant by that. But the fire of the Holy Spirit will come right now like a minor rush of fire and will destroy any action. Um, the reason why I want to show this video is because I feel like a lot of people who watch my stream are in the queer community. And it's very easy to get stuck in your own bubble in the sense of if you consume the media you like or if you only listen to the, to the perspectives you agree with, you don't necessarily understand how the opposing perspective is. Um, I'm very aware of this. Yeah, I know some are, but it's still very easy to think that you can be safe when in some areas or with certain individuals you may not as be be as safe so like i know when i watched this the first time like i was aware of like this type of like protesting and that type of shit but it's still like scary to think that um even though there is the right to like gay marriage all that jazz um it's still scary to think that a lot of people don't respect other people um, and, like, with the overturning of, like, Roe v. Wade, it brought up the argument that other policies could be undone as well. I didn't know people actually believe that Disney made them think this way. Nah. It, it's just, like, with the culture wars, they're making a problem out of something little that isn't really there. Because that's how culture wars work. And the thing with a lot of the Republican media is that 90 something percent watch Fox News. So when 90 percent of your demographic consumes the same media, absorbs the same information that isn't true usually, then they all have the same talking points. They all have the same rhetoric. Um, that's why it's very hard to combat these people. <laughs> because, okay, last thing I want to say. Because when comparing America to other foreign countries, we are still, like, super radical, right? In terms of, like, progressive policy, human rights. So just because Washington, or America is the land of the free, doesn't mean that rights will be upheld and respected. It turns out this is their leader, Sean Foy. Now this is a guy who knows how to get everyone excited. Come on, we want everybody in the macaroni grill to hear us tonight. Woo! He's the straightest man in the entire protest. There's not a gay bone in this man's body. He's just a heterosexual man who has heterosexual sex with his blonde wife and makes blonde children. And he's famous for making enormous Christian concerts during COVID. In defiance of state orders to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, they came to see a controversial worship leader and political activist. Last night we gathered thousands of people that, that came together, the church showed up. Now, I didn't realize this, but it turns out that COVID public health orders and Disney's homosexual agenda are actually linked. With the shutdowns, they groomed the children back then because they had to be masked, they had to be six feet apart, so yeah. that was just the beginning. 
and then anything else would be okay. Like, you could be, you know, you could be a girl today. You could be a pronoun today. Because we will no longer wear masks. We watch Australia. We watch the world. We know what's going on, and we're awake, and we're not going back to sleep. This is pretty impressive. These people seem to know a lot more about Australia than we did. They were forced jabbing children. I, mean, I personally didn't didn't see it. Have you looked at the yeah. stats in your country? It's because we're getting we're getting your stats here. To me, it kind of I mean, <laughs> it is like Nazi Germany. Little kids that were like tackled by the police and injected on the spot. <laughs> I mean, it's just that it really seemed like true. Sorry, I'm um, laughing because they're just so fucking stupid. You guys can't grow gardens. So when they ask for a vaccine card, the first thing I think of is like, oh, do I need to show my yellow star? Now, if you ask me, none okay, of that stuff okay. actually happened, but I. The comparison to the Holocaust, Nazi Germany, is very commonly used to minimize. It, it's the common like what ab what aboutism to where you compare something very small to something to the large extreme where people say oh mask wearing is like me having a star patch on my shirt those are two different things wearing a mask is to protect your family and your community when in comparison the star patch was used to discriminate and identify at a time where people were being killed you are not being killed for wearing a mask. It's unfortunate. I've heard friends and family use the analogy of like, well, it's like the Holocaust. It's like, no, it's not an appropriate comparison. I don't think she understands analogies. <laughs> That's very true, but you'll see it commonly with a lot of rhetoric. You know why it makes sense? Because a lot of, um, you know how I've expressed before that I am very... Um, I like to take in consideration the connotations, so like the subtle meanings to words. So if you look at a lot of Republican rhetoric, they use a lot of extremist language, how they say, you know, um, <clears throat> like, you know, fuck. the common argument to where, um, like you need to have your gun or you need the right to own a gun. Like we're at war against the democratic party. Or how they emphasize how there's so much crime where you need to protect your family. Like, there's so much, like, negative, extremist, subtle language that is used that subconsciously radicalizes people over time. I do honestly admire So, and, oh wait, I was gonna say. So when you subtly radicalize people over time using those extreme analogies makes sense to them. ...dedication to freedom and bodily autonomy. <laughs> Freedom here to say, you know, it's a medical procedure. I don't, I don't want to be a part of. You know, I, it's my body. My body, my choice. They're, they're not even allowed to ask. Well, they're not allowed to ask if you're vaccinated. Although their commitment to my body, my choice only went so far, especially now that abortion is illegal in Florida. I mean, I'm pro-life. We don't want abortion. There's no black and white. What would happen if someone, if someone, let's say, was to get an abortion in a state? Like, would they, would they just go to jail? Like, what's the? Um, yeah, if you could detect a heartbeat in that child, um, that kill, uh, you know, aborting after that point would be um, illegal. And yeah, so well. that's really, really great just to get some of those rights back to the unborn because they deserve them. Look, no offense to the Christians, but we didn't get a lot out of these interviews. If we want to get to the bottom of this, we'd have to go about it scientifically. We're going to have to go to <laughs> Disney Space and find X. out once and for all <laughs> if it'll make us gay. And remember, we're <laughs> doing this. Okay, now the video is going to get fun. It's going to get fun now. With the protest over, getting into Disney World was easy, but finding our way around was almost impossible. I swear we didn't well, we just come down on this road. Uh, but then we, we went straight, so we had to do like a little... Why the hell is this place so enormous? Well, it turns out back in the 40s, the working conditions at Disney were incredibly exploitative and there was this massive animator strike. Now, don't let the cute cartoon signs fool you. Walt Disney was a slave driver and they all wished he was dead. And he'd rather die than negotiate with his animation slaves. Monk but the w. US government stepped in and said, Come on, Walt, you're causing a scene here. You're going to have to negotiate with your employees. And Walt gave up and negotiated a better deal for his workers. Yeah, this time he was beaten. But Walt thought to himself, If I had my own country, no one could tell me how I had to treat my workers. And that's hmm. when he came up with Epcot. Spelled E-P-C-O-T. Experimental 
prototype community of tomorrow. He wanted to build a giant corporate controlled society with mass surveillance, no unions, no voting, no retirement, and run solely by Walt Disney. So he bought up 25,000 acres of land in Florida and struck a deal with the government, essentially giving Disney full control of his own tiny country within the USA. Now, I know what you're thinking. Buying heaps of land and making a corporate-owned dystopia is all well and good for Disney, but what about me? How do I get to be lord of my own evil little kingdom? Well, thanks to this video sponsor, Established Titles, you can be a lord right now. You can buy at least one square foot of land on a private estate in Scotland, <coughs> and thanks to some archaic Scottish law, technically, that makes you a lord. No, for real, you get an official certificate with a crest, and you can officially change your name on your credit card or, or your plane ticket. They tell you exactly where your land is, and it's not useless land either. You could probably grow a couple of turnips if you use <laughs> that square foot correctly, or you could milk about. I don't 3 think this is an ad. <laughs> not just that. Established titles teamed up with One Tree. Oh, I think it is. <laughs> they plan services. Even well, their own no. Now, luckily for us, Walt Disney died, and his successor scrapped the creepy future city, but kept. I thought it was like informational. In one of the world's only corporate-owned countries. They pay no taxes. They have their own Dude, laws, I'm just their clueless. Own fire and electricity services, even their own private police force. Yeah, no, they got an actual prison. That is fucking brutal. Oh, you find yourself here it's because you did something real naughty. <laughs> And it's not just prisons. We even had to pass Disney Migration and Customs to get in. We just got um, stopped by Disney Police, and now we're going to get I guess, Disney Strip Search. I mean, I hope they make it fun. <laughs> this is going to be the funnest strip search on Earth. <laughs> you have a the process, please? Oh, sorry, sorry. Wow. Only you two who what? get secondary screening. Why? No, it's because we don't look gay enough. Uh, I, I presume just because I have a gun in my back. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Did they take it? No, no. They just wanted to make sure that you had enough ammo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here you go, sir. Have a good day. We finally made it past the funnest biometric data scanner on Earth, and we made it in. And we're finally ready to test out if Disneyland can make us gay. We decided to stay at the Swan Hotel, named after the gayest creature in the animal kingdom. And straight off the bat, the Christians were right. Disney does seem to be making us gay here. <laughs> the accommodation is so prohibitively Sorry. expensive that you have no choice but to share a bed with all the boys. Hey, yo. But it's morning time and the experiment continues. Now, just because we're trying to radically alter our sexuality in one day doesn't mean we're reckless maniacs. We're going to be outdoors all day, so we've got to be sun safe. Oh my god! Sorry. That probably tastes disgusting. Now, we were only Disney for about half an hour at this point, and things were getting a lot woker than we expected. Oh, how impressive is this, guys? It's like the only city in America that has a mass public transport system. <laughs> and this it looks is... good. Look how reliable it is. But I mean, that's, that's practically communism, right? That's, it is. That's, that's one step towards yeah. making everyone gay. We call, me, we call it the Kami Gondola. Hi, guys. The Kami Gondola. The Kami Gondola. guy's coming on to me. <laughs> we... Everyone just says hello to you. Every man just they, says but they don't say hello, they go. Hello. They get reprimanded if they don't. Hello. Now, I thought these brightly dressed flamboyant men were obviously flirting with us, but it turns out they might not actually be gay. They just get fired if they don't smile at park visitors. See, every part of their lives is controlled here. You can't take any photos or talk about your job on social media. They have mandated haircut laws. They control your fingernail length, the underwear you wear. They even choose a new name for you. And it's one of the most Ain't surveilled no way. areas on earth, so the mouse will know if you snuck your own underpants into work. Uh, you know, at least after a long day of authoritarian scrutiny and forced smiling, you can get home and relax. But more realistically, you'll be sleeping in your car because they earn so little that 11% of Disney employees are currently homeless. So these That's poor crazy. workers get fired if they don't smile. But also 43% of them can't even afford dental care. I, I don't know what's going on here. You know, they definitely weren't making us gay, but they were making us cry. Yeah, I don't worry. Uh, maybe it'll get gayer. On to the main attraction. Wait, dude. I understand what they're talking about. They're literally promoting bestiality. Yeah, this is, uh, this is way too radical for my taste. <laughs> the spectacle was pretty weird and confronting, but there wasn't anything particularly gay about it. So we decided to take matters into our own hands. Wait, well, do you want to kiss in front of the Disney castle? Of course. Is that Walt Disney? Yeah. yeah. I like this man turned around like he was like, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. So we're getting ready for our first kiss, and it has to be perfectly framed to make sure Disney can work its magic. 
And I think we got it. Uh, I'll be honest, kissing Alex wasn't that bad, but it also wasn't particularly arousing either. We're going to need much <laughs> more evidence for this to be conclusive. Yeah, what are you doing? I think we've got a test to see if the food's gay here. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look very gay. It doesn't, let's... Mine doesn't look gay either. Does it taste gay? It doesn't taste very gay. Should we, should we try kissing? <laughs> the mouth full of food. I can't. It was better than when we did it in the sun. But <laughs> no, I, don't the, I don't think the food's very gay. Here. If anything, the food at Disney was aggressively straight. <laughs> That's what a vagina looks like, William. Yeah, I think, yeah, we, I think we accidentally ordered the straight ones. Yeah. These are the ones that the lesbians are meant to eat. I'm starting to feel like Disneyland isn't making us any gayer, but we're not quitters. We don't give up so easily. We, Ayo. we were told that Disney grooves kids, right? So I'm sure if we go on a kid's ride, we'll see it for ourselves. So we chose Small World, a ride full of animatronic children from around the world. Just a, just a simple kid's ride about Disney and international children. What, what could go wrong? Let's not talk about Small World ever again, okay? Uh, luckily, there are so many other exotic parts of Disneyland to take our minds off it. I think we're in, we're in mystical Syria or, or Iraq or something. This is, what is this place called? Yeah, you got it. It's Iraq. It says here this is counterinsurgency land. Counterinsurgency land, sick. It's sick. You get to kill Osama bin Laden at the end of the ride. You're gonna blow up some weddings. Yeah, do it. Honestly, at this point, <laughs> we were running out of hope that we'd ever become gay, but we realized we somehow missed the sexiest part of the map. We had to go to Squirt Mountain. Okay, let's go. Hey, Squirt yo. Mountain. Squirt Mountain. Yeah, have you ever been on Squirt Mountain? We're at Squirt Mountain. Oh, this is Squirt. Oh, oh my god, what the oh, hell is that? Did you catch that on it camera? It got all over the camera. <laughs> that was so sexual. The camera just spat in my mouth. Squirt Mountain, Squirt Mountain, Squirt Mountain. Oh, Lee. Surely, if we kiss on the big drop on Squirt Mountain, we will feel Disney's satanic gay sorcery. The problem is that we could never really tell when the big drop was coming, so we just ended up kissing on all the drops. And this is where Disney's <laughs> gay spell actually started working. Oh, wait. What? Is the fact that when I closed my eyes and kissed him, I almost forgot that we were about to do a massive drop. It made me feel more comfortable. Yeah, it made me feel a bit more comfortable as well. Maybe there is some truth to this. Maybe... <laughs> I now I'm scared again. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. You know what the best argument I've heard to where, like, gay, being gay is a choice? It's like the people who say that, you just need to be like, well, be gay right now, then easy. I heard that argument in, like, a Philip DeFranco video, like, five years ago, and it's stuck with me since. Like, all the people say it, they just let me just be like, oh, kiss me right now, then easy. Be gay. Hmm. And then they're like, no, 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 no. But then you'd be like, well, you, you just said being gay was a choice. Now this kiss, <laughs> this kiss was different. It it wasn't like any any of the other kisses. And <gasps> as soon as we touched lips, the the screaming stopped. We were strapped into this steel contraption, hurtling down to earth. But but in my mind, we were just gently floating, higher and higher and higher. But we must have floated too high because tragedy struck. Oh, there's a chance it might hit us. Yeah, yeah it's gonna... gonna hit us as well. Yeah, we're gonna get struck by lightning. Oh god, my it's god. Kiss. This is what happens when you kiss. Wow. You've angered <laughs> God very much. Alright, we just make we a We were warned. Make, we... Just make a run for it? Yeah. As we were running through the rain, I realized this day had been a big disappointment. I mean, apart from that brief moment on Squirt Mountain, we didn't feel any gayer at all. We were just tired and wet and Alex got a nasty beard rash. I mean, the Christians were right in a sense that a Disneyland beard is rash? a demonic hellscape. But it what definitely is that didn't even? make us gay. 
But these conservatives believe this shit with all their heart. Like so much so that after 60 years, Florida's Republican governor Ron DeSantis is officially revoking Disney World's status as an unaccountable, unregulated corporate country. This state is governed by the interests of the people of the state of Florida. It is not based on the demands of California corporate executives. Now, don't get me wrong, this is an amazing move, and there are a million good reasons to do this, but the Conservatives chose the only insane reason for doing it. I, I, I don't get it. Like, do, do we cheer for DeSantis? Do, do we defend Disney? There's only really one thing I know I want to do right now. All right, then I put those together. Yep. And then all of us this way, friend. That's right. All of us this way, friend. Cute. Very nice. Okay, I know that was a longer video, but I I think it brought up like the themes of what you call it. I think it's very easy for people to fall into like the the pit hole of like far-right extremist ideology and a lot of people don't realize that it's extremist but it's very easy like you it's like one of those things to where if you agree with one thing then they agree wholeheartedly with anything the party has to say i can't look at ludwig the same what did he do okay chat as we've stalled for another hour i think we can do calligraphy now so let's change our title oh let's get some music on first huh i don't know i really like the channels that they have i think they have really good content in the sense of like it's still entertaining but also like it's informational to an extent You didn't see what happened? Wait, there's like one thing, but did it happen today? Or did something else happen? No? I, I'm clueless, Mac. I'm clueless. I'm clueless. But... Was it like the leak? Was it the leak? Is that what you're talking about? Because I haven't seen it. I've heard about it. Yeah, oh. I haven't seen it because I don't want to get ruined. I don't want to get scarred for life. Okay, so we had Mac. And Deacon. Okay, so you guys know how it goes. If you donate or use your channel points, I'll write your name.
<laughs> oh, I think the next game I want to play that'll take the Wednesday slot is To the Moon. So it's another, like, pixel story game. I think it came out in 2011, but it is ported to the Switch. And it's about four to five hours of gameplay, so we can beat it in one stream. But that won't be until we get back, or I get back from getting moved in and stuff. So I should have enough money by then to buy the game. And then... So I kind of want to do, like, one-off games on Wednesdays, maybe? But I definitely want to do, like, one-off story games or, like, a long-term story game like Eastward was. Okay. We had Deacon5657 with a six-month resub. Very nice. Or maybe we can do, like, the bonus of Ghost Streams on Wednesdays as well. Because once I move, I don't know what weekends are going to look like. I'll think about it. I'll talk to you guys about it once I get settled in, for sure, but... Because I don't think I've done any bonus streams this month. I did get all my homework done last night, so that's a plus. I don't have to worry about that tonight. Because everything was due today. Oh my god. But, so the project for this month was we basically had to make a mock app and website for a fake event. And then we had to have somebody critique it. So I had my sister critique it. So they have to, like, click through everything. And then, um, like, answer questions and stuff. And my sister, she's very blunt. And, like, she doesn't try to be funny, but she's genuinely, like, hilarious. Because just, like, her delivery sometimes is really good. So, like, the first question I asked her was, um... It was, like, what do you think the point of this website is? Obviously, the, the correct answer is to sell tickets for the event. But she said, well, the point of this website is to make sh or is to scam people of their money <laughs> like it was something along the lines of that was so funny and then after she's like can you cut that out of the video i'm like no i'm keeping it in so because i i had like 30 minutes of footage that i had to edit down because we, we i had to like screen record her like clicking through the website and clicking through the app so i edited i edited the 30 minutes of footage down to like 15 and the part where she said, oh, it's to scam people out of their money. And then I chuckled and then I cut to, like, the actual answer. It was good. I would show you guys clips, but she doesn't want her voice or face ever broadcasted. So, but it's so good. Because, like, me and my sister, we didn't, like, make videos. We didn't do, like, home videos either with her family. So we didn't have that type of, like, connection when we were younger. But it's still, like, funny. I used to, it was fun, yeah. I wish me and my sister did something like that when we were little, but we didn't. Yeah, with shared bad info, you have to request to share. And just because your request doesn't mean they'll accept it. Uh, once again, thank you, Mac, for the one gifted and 100 bits to the chat. Thank you. You had a YouTube channel? No, I link it right now. What was the channel? Okay, so we're going to do channel point names. So you can use your channel points, and I'll write your name for free. This is also the last name of the day. So if, if you want me to write your name, I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. I will not do that, damn. Sag. Would it be funny? You know, we gotta have a little bit of cringe.
You have just all your auto mod to the max, basically. Basically. Like I said earlier, Mac, you can talk to me about it later. I think the only thing that I have, like, lessened on the auto mod is cursing. Like, it doesn't clap you guys immediately for some words now. I don't think. Yeah, there we go. We had Luigi redeem with their channel points. <laughs> what words? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you. Chatter's last call. If you want me to write your name, you can just donate to the channel or use your channel points. Let's go. Let's go. Also, no raid today. Of course, Mac and Kobobo redeem just to, to stall. Of course, you guys would. SMH. Let's do Mac and Yellow. It's so funny. You guys are so quirky and funny. We had Mac and Kobobo redeem. Once again, thank you guys. Will there be any streams this weekend? Not tomorrow, because I have to go sign paperwork and then... Probably not Sunday. Probably not Sunday. I, I don't know about Sunday. I would, but I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah. Because, like, my parents, they were supposed to leave tomorrow for their vacation, but they're leaving on Monday now. So, I don't want to stream on weekends if they're home. Because it's annoying. Anyway. I think we can go ahead and end it here, guys. Let's call it a stream here. They changed again? Yeah, it's like... It's annoying. It, it's like... It, it's fine, but it's still, like, annoying. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just annoying. Okay, guys. I would like to thank everybody who chatted, who watched during today's stream. We finally beat Eastward. I beat most of the bosses first try, except for the Isabel fight, I think. So, they canceled the trip. Dude, I would lose my mind. I mean, they might, actually. Because they're taking, like, an RV. And the reason why they're leaving Monday is because the RV's having troubles. So. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Today we finally beat Eastward. I know schedule's gonna be kind of weird because I am moving. But next stream should probably be Monday. Because I'm gonna try and stream as much as I can before I move. Um, we're officially moving everything by Thanksgiving weekend. So I should be back end of the month or beginning of December. So if you want to make sure you keep up to date with everything, make sure you're following my Twitter. Also, click, see the little pin messenger chat? I forgot to plug it earlier. Make sure everybody's following the art channel. Wowie wow. We will do weekly painting streams on that channel, I think. We might do a painting stream on Monday because I'm going to be busy all mon day Monday. So make sure you're following both this channel and my channel and have notifications on for both channels. And once again, thank you to Mac, Deacon, Peace, and Art. Who is that? For gifting and cheering today. Thank you guys once again. Um. Yeah, that's all. We should be back next week. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. People, bye. Okay, bye, Mac.
Thank you for stream, of course. I like hanging out with everybody. I'm, I just remembered that TTS wasn't working today and I got mad rethinking about that. I heckin' hate stream element, ele stream element alerts. It's fucking dumb. It's D-U-M. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Probably. Okay. I'll keep chatting off or sub only while that way you guys can keep talking if you want. Okay. Bye.